the State Champ Studio. I'm Jenna Rose here with my co-host Antoinette Phelps, and we're the hosts of the podcast Ready, Set, Cheer. Today we are doing a recap of the 2021 MHSAA Cheerleading State Finals that took place at the Breslin Center in East Lansing. That's right, Jenna. We are bringing you the top teams from all four divisions as they go head to head to win a state title. Before we get started, we wanted to give a shout out to Lawrence Technological University for making this show possible. The LTU cheer and dance team is growing and the Blue Devils want you to recruit yourself. Just head over to LTUathletics.com to find out more. Now let's kick off our show with Division 4. Jumping into the competition, we have the girls from Hard giving it their all in round one. Next up, we have Lawton as they show off their stunt routine in round three. Coming up next, we have North Point Christian performing their routine in round two. Moving on to Addison as they stick their motions in round one. Check out Adrian Madison showing off their tumbling skills in round two. The competition is heating up as the girls from Vandercook Lake take the floor and move effortlessly through their routine in round one. The Jayhawks would finish the afternoon in third place. Now we have Pawama Westphalia who has won nine finals titles and last year they came in second. This year they are pushing for first as they gave it their all in all three rounds. Here they are in round one scoring the highest points. took runner-up for the second consecutive year. Hudson was at it again, winning the state title last year. They refused to give it up. They dominated round three with flawless stunts and tumbles. The Tigers received 758 points overall, as they now have their third Division IV championship state title. We were nervous that we weren't going to get a season this year, so getting to come here and just perform with my teammate for the fourth year was 
such an amazing opportunity and I'm just really proud of everyone. It was really cool and it was a new environment and everyone was getting used to it. So it was awesome to walk in knowing no one's competed here. No one really has an advantage. So that was really fun and I'm just really grateful we got to compete at all. If you're a high school athlete with the dream of playing college sports, Lawrence Technological University wants you to recruit yourself. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports, including its newest additions, competitive cheer and dance, e-sports, women's hockey, and men's and women's track and field. Visit LTUathletics.com and recruit yourself. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Now let's check out the teams from Division 3. First up we have the girls from Battle Creek Penfield showing off their awesome motions and jumps in round one. we have Alma with their routine in round one. Now let's head over to Comstock Park with their performance in round two. Place, we have Croswell Lexington getting their highest scores here in round three. <laughs> Up next, we have Flat Rock as they show off their tumbling skills in round two. We have my alma mater, the girls from Notre Dame Prep. NDP came in second place last year and they are known for dominating round three. The Fighting Irish refused to give up and had the exact same score as Richmond in round three. The girls would take home third place overall. Now let's check out Papa, who came in third place last year as they show off their tumbling skills in round two. They hit their marks perfectly and score the highest in this round. They took home second place. Richmond came out strong, showing they were determined to win again as they dominated round one. The Blue Devils continued their legacy as they took home the state title for the third year in a row. With all the shutdowns and everything that we've been through since back in the summertime, it took a long time for them to kind of gel together, but they did at the right time. And today was all about them having their best three days of the year. It feels amazing. I wouldn't even call them teammates. I would call yeah. them sisters. I love them yeah, there's no with one all else, my heart. No one else I'd want to do And we with. really came together and we just had a lot of fun. Don't go anywhere because when we get back, we'll take you through Division I and Division II to see which team will go home with a state title. Stay tuned. Did you record an unbelievable touchdown, a game-winning goal, or just a proud parent moment? Then we want your clip. Upload your video to the brand new State Champs Network app. 
so we can feature it on one of our shows and give your player, team, and school the recognition they deserve. All it takes is just a few easy clicks, and every clip that is submitted will automatically be eligible for prizes. Download the State Champs Network app today for iPhone and Android devices. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. Now let's jump right into Division 2. Starting off with the girls from Mason as they took the mat for their performance in round one. Next up, we have the ladies from Flint Kersley in round three. Moving on to Cedar Springs with their routine in round one. <laughs> Southgate Anderson is up next with their performance in round three. goes on, the competition starts to build up. We head over to Wald Lake Western, giving it their all in round two. <laughs> the Warriors finished in fourth place. Next up, we have Moda Shores with high jumps and perfect tumbles in round two. <laughs> the girls came in third place overall. Now we have DeWitt who came in third place last year with their hard work and dedication showing as they move through their routine in round three. took home second place. The defending state champions, Allen Park, was determined to uphold their title, coming in strong with a flawless round one. The Jaguars proved that they had what it takes to win the Division II cheerleading state title for the second consecutive year. Really, really fun because we've never been here before, so we got to compete somewhere new with a new team. So it was just a whole new experience and so much fun. It was also super cool because like green and white are our colors and we're kind of surrounded by it. So it kind of felt like just competing at home. I can definitely say the chemistry between our team is really strong and we all pushed together. And, you know, we had no doubts coming in today. move on to the final cheer competitions as we cover Division 1. The stakes are high as we start off the competition with the girls from Stony Creek in round 1. Moving on 
to Woodhaven with their performance in round three. we have Lake Orion showing off their tumbling skills in round two. Now check out the girls from Brighton as they perform their routine in round three. Grand Blank with their outstanding stunts in round three. The Bobcats finished in fourth place. Up next, we have Plymouth showing their determination in round two. With three amazing rounds, the Wildcats would finish in third place. Granville up next, giving it their all as they try to take home the title. Last time Granville won states was in 2015. Here they are in round three, proving they have what it takes. The Bulldogs would finish runners up. Last year, Rochester Adams made school history by winning the program's first cheer state title, and they refused to give it up. The girls held the top score in all three rounds, and it would be the round three that pushed them all the way to the top. won the state title for the second year in a row. Congratulations. We just really, you know, fought through so much this year, just like all teams with COVID and just trying to get through quarantines and never ending, um, potentially shut down season. And so we're just really happy to be here and get to finish our season. We all stuck together, we all persevered. And as a team, we literally conquered all the odds against us. And now we're back to back. We had 23 state returners this year, so we knew that we could still be a very strong team. Although with quarantining and everything, it was hard sometimes, but this team seamlessly fixed all the rounds and put new people in week after week, and we really kept our emotions in control and pulled it off. This experience has been like no other. I don't think any other year Adams has had three sweeps in a row, two times, two years with the same team. It's been great. I don't think we could ever experience it again. We have three different sisters on the team and we just have the closest bond ever. So I'm so happy that we got to finish it off with them. That's a wrap on our weekend spent at the Breslin Center. What an amazing event filled with so much hard work and dedication. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the 2021 Competitive Cheerleading State Finals. We can't wait to see what next year has in store. And don't forget to tune into our podcast, Ready, Sit, Cheer, as we wrap up our final episode of the season. And be sure to follow State Champs Michigan on social media. Download the free State Champs Network app to catch all the shows. You can even watch us on your Amazon Fire Stick or on Roku. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. 
LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships available in all sports. Visit LTUathletics.com and recruit yourself. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. Detroit Medical Center's physical therapy and sports medicine pros. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changer.